So this video is about where to aim for uh, on the game of World of Tanks and every tank has got a weak spot in the next few minutes I'll show you all the different weak spots on the different tanks and then right after showing you all the weak spots I go and play a game. Now this wasn't made up, this was the game after making the video uh, for the weak spots and everything which I talk about I put into practice and I just get a few kills. Um, so let's go and have a look at the uh, weak spots and we'll take it from there. So uh, let's pick on the E75, an ugly tank, um, and it bounces like crazy. However, you'll see this tank looks a bit odd because I've put skins on it. Um, so let's go and pick it on the side view. All tanks, no matter what tank it is, their um, tracks are weak, even the E100. Um, and yes, I've got an E100 with the worst paint job ever, um, and I got this by just killing lots of people and about 4,800 battles. So you can, everybody can get one of these. If I can, you can. Uh, anyway, back to hit points. You'll notice all the tracks are exposed on every single tank. The tracks are exposed, and thus they are good point um, to, to go after. Um, let's pick on the U75 because it can be a bit of a nightmare to tackle front on. Um, as such, let's assume that we're looking at this tank front on. Okay, there are some weak spots on the front, believe it or not. First ones are obvious ones, the tracks either side. If you can track the U75, then get round the side or get round the back with a faster moving tank. Um, you're into the big leads there and you can pull on the E75s all day long. Again, the reload times on these are horrific. Um, so anyway, if you still stay in front on, the light on the front is a primary point. The little, um, let me just zoom right in. Can you see these little ports here? Here? And then here, they're brilliant. And again, if you're at a bit of range, um, you can only choose kind of left or right of the tank. Choose the, the tank's left-hand side or the right-hand side be on face hand where that big blue spot is. Um, and you're in his winning territory. Now, they've not actually highlighted on this. Now, I've had actually success getting the front tank uh, of an E75 here. And then again, the obvious places are all on the back. All well, the back's open anyway. Um, one bit which you probably didn't know is that on pretty much all um, German tanks is right below the turret you'll see there's a big white spot here that is a brilliant place to aim for okay um, I always cause damage when I hit there um, there's a bit at the back of it's red I tend to ignore this I don't know why I just go for the front piece here because normally if I got a tank side on um, this bit's a little bit easier to grab because I can work out where the halfway through the tank is um, and grab it so if I grab the tiger for example, the, where, where those spades, the, the axe and the shovel is, that's where I'd be shooting again. That's where I'd be grabbing too. Um, I've also picked the Tiger on purpose because this tank um, has more features for you to shoot, believe it or not, from the front. Again, tracks, obvious one, track it, get around the back, shoot it in the rear. Um, but also, pretty much on all tanks, there's always like a little... Um, in the, um, four, five, and sixes. There's the little machine guns in the front, and again, the machine gun is a bang on place to hit. And again, um, yeah, I'll show you um, some gameplay where I'm actually hitting the same spot over and over and over again because I know it does damage. Um, and then again, you see the little light port, um, the little light port here on the right hand side. That's an also a perfect spot. And again, these little features here as well. Okay, and then again, that's completely ignoring the big round blob sat on top of the turret. That's fair game to get that one up there as well. You like to cause some serious damage. Go and pick on the E50 again. I'm a horrible little tank um, to come up against. Um, it's actually a heavy tank, and when these ram you, then you'll feel it. Okay. Um, again, we're looking for features just like the E75. Uh, you grab the light. You can grab this port here or this port here, and again the tracks, and again up inside of here too. Uh, let's go and pick on the Panther. Um, again, I am focused on German tanks too. Okay, so machine gunner on the front, that is a weak spot, and again, that's if I see a panther, um, that's exactly where I'm aiming front on. Okay, and again, there's two eye ports, but they're much more difficult, uh, far more difficult to go and attack, and again, it's the little machine gunner. Okay, now, type 59, these are really, really easy to kill. Okay, they bounce like crazy because you shoot them in the turret. Trick to this, you don't shoot them in the turret. Um, just like the E75, Tiger, E50, Panther, all the other tanks, um, look for features on the front. So the light is a feature, so you shoot the light. Um, if you can, 
get the ports on the front again if you're taking them at a bit of a distance aim over here towards that blue patch um, and then you've got happy days um, if you've only got their turret to shoot at don't shoot at the turret aim to go just above you'll see these purple spots on top um, and again you can cause some serious damage there okay um, and one thing you'll notice about the type 59 is that all the tracks are exposed if you hit any of those at any point in that track on there um, and again there's loads of track space showing on the front too you can track it and again t type 59 might, might be a little bit nimble but if you've tracked him on both sides he's not going anywhere because there's no way the, the, the repair kit um, is going to repair them both one go unless they've got a large one but hey ho um, my favorite point for hitting the type 59 is whack in the side see that white spot I always try and get the type 59 right in the middle it it may not be their ammo box and again it might not be weaker as the back just like the E75 but you're guaranteed to do them damage um, and the type 59s so especially if you're in another type 59 um, or in a tiger or something a little bit smaller like a panther or something like that um, then you need you, you, you're gonna have to put a couple of shots into them to get to get them killed um, these type 59s will blow up in their ammo rack um, but it's a bit rare for it to happen so I wouldn't bother um, again for the bat I'd go for a confirmed shot and again if you've got them side on grab him in here however if you're around the back of him there is your jackpot if you can get this white plate on the back of the turret and there's pretty much every single tank which you come against up against is shoot them if you can right in the back of the turret that's, that's where most of the crew is sat and you cause um, untold amounts of damage to them in the next little clip um, you'll actually see me taking what I just covered with the weak points and putting it into reality as such I'm shutting up let's go and shoot some tanks right this game is for real um, it was the game after I just did the last section just been slapped in the back um, and I got a tiger or so whatever it is in front of me a tiger P uh, look can you see me going for hit spots aimed badly but still caused him damage in the middle um, and you'll see me I'm focusing after the weak points even if I don't get them I'll still I'll still go for them he's gonna go around behind he's showing me his rear happy days he hasn't turned his factor it fast enough that's a kill so that's kill number one okay and again I didn't put this video is literally the one after the section I just did about the hit points okay um, so I'm, oh there's a KV up on the top I'm gonna ignore it it's out my way type 59 bargain straight in the tracks didn't get his tracks but um, if you see that I'm zooming in I'm after that white spot that's where I'm after I'm ignoring the back going for the middle I just want to cause damage every single time okay he's tracked he's just out, just out there waiting for me to shoot him okay even when this tank goes on the side I'm still aiming for the side it's a still a bigger target than trying to go for that little blue spot on the front bingo here we go he's still on the side um, and he's dead P I would have had him maybe that shot or the next one still looking to see what's on right oh I've got a mate up there to the right hand side um, he must have been the one which was shooting the tank below okay um, this type 59 actually chickens it in a moment um, and goes on the hides beyond a bush on the left and as such he gets a slap um, again the type 59 is a really quite weak tank um, and you can imagine all the tanks are on the, my right hand side right now um, and I feel really really vulnerable so I'm not going to hang about I'm going to get straight to the back um, a quick look up in the top right hand corner you can see they've got an artillery uh, there's two or three tank destroyers kicking around so um, there's probably one of these little camp tards so I'd hide around the back so I'm going to go for them um, I'm just pushing down as far as I can go um, looking for the artillery square not hitting it just yet but um, I'm leaving it as late as possible to um, come across the top um, oh and spot uh, an M4 and something else over there on the right hand side uh, and you complain about the Type 59 being overpowered uh, what have you neglected that was a fully loaded up shot uh, a fully tuned in shot um, and completely missed him the accuracy is absolutely diabolical so if you're a type 59 player you probably already know this instinctively you've just got to get up close to them getting close and cause damage um, now as far as artillery, artilleries go they're all weak just shoot them anywhere um, and they're weak so let's get over the top um, I'm ignoring the stug in favor of the artillery because that one can do me some real damage did him a chunk of damage you'll see me zooming in looking for a feature looking for a feature bang brilliant um, for him got him and then the, the artillery is a really weak I'm letting him do the work here he's coming to me I'm still I shoot 
grabbing a bit of cover from that whatever it was stug which I just took out over there uh, I can't see that one yet but Hinky's coming my way um, I actually think that was a dead tank so I ignore that one and go for the one behind it um, and don't forget that Type 59 is still over there to the right hand side hopefully um, and this is when I realise that the tank to the right is actually a real tank <laughs> isn't a carcass and I get him down to I think it was 5% um, so a bit of a slap and I'll zoom in and I'll get the smaller tank over prep there you go, he's just showing me his side ah, but I miss I'm going to hold out for this one, he's just showing me his rear he's gone, brilliant uh, the RCAP on our base, uh, there's three tanks left, there's one in front of me so one of those two must be on the base uh, so I'm going to have a pop at this one again even when I'm at distance I'm still looking for weak spots the gun on that tank is on the right so I'm for it, uh, my right on there, he's gone behind the, behind the rock um, from his side, good move, he's uh, allowed himself a bit of time to uh, um, hide up but you can see I'm running into him and then straight after the weak spot, weak spot, the kaboom. Okay. Uh and again there's three of us left and two of them, so I'm gonna get back to the base and see what I can do. Um I do actually come up across a panther in a moment and um unfortunately I play this bit really badly, but who cares? I've just had five kills and a pretty decent round. Um, and again watch the radar and he'll pop up on the radar to my right in a moment again you'll see me looking about all the places to see where he's going to be, he's going to be around here somewhere but I don't want to go rushing right in just yet not zoomed in enough to fire um, and there's no way that in the Type 59, because again you can shoot the Type 59 some, as in pretty much all the other tanks up underneath as well now I'm just going to pull up, I'm going to see, remember I said about the weak spots in the tank I'm going to see if I can hit the top of the tank and unfortunately I miss and it goes over okay um, and he's not fired And he, but you can see somebody was after look look on the very front of that panther somebody else has been doing after that panther as well he's got all those marks on the front of him too so happy days so this concludes this video on how to play World of Tanks badly um, on a serious note I hope you've actually been able to see that some weak there all tanks are weak just look for a feature um, and shoot the feature, that's it, biggest tip, shoot a feature, ignoring else, um, just shoot a feature of the tank, preferably not the turret. Happy days, uh, happy tanking.